when you're describing a product in a list view, you need to make sure it doesn't look something like this. You might be thinking that this seems alright, but let me show you the difference between a good looking list and a bad looking list. As you can see, the difference is of night and day. When you get a good looking list, it enhances the entire experience of your website and it also makes your product more attractive. Introducing list block by product tags. Now you can customize your list and the items of the list to your heart's content. You can add images, add subtext, change the color, change the font, change the icon, and so much more. You may also be thinking that, wow, this looks amazing. It may cost me a fortune, but no, it is an absolutely free feature. So make sure that you have the product text plugin installed and activated on the site. Since product text is a Gutenberg based builder, you can find the list block just like any other Gutenberg block. Search for list, drag, and drop. Bear in mind, there are separate customization options available for a single item of the list and the whole list. Before we look at the customization options, let's explore some of the patterns available to us. If you don't want to build your list from scratch, you can use one of the patterns. All you have to do is click on the import button and your list is ready. Now let's look at the customization options. First, we will look at the customization options available to us for the entire list group. Click on the list group. We can select the layout. We can set it into inline view, set the alignment, space between the items, space between the icon and the text, icon position. Then comes the icon slash image setting. You can enable or disable icon and images altogether. As you can see, I have images over here and icons over here. You can select it from this menu right over here. There's also an icon store for you to select your icon. Then we can adjust the icon size, background size, etc. There are also different settings for normal and hover view. Next comes the content wrap. As you can see, when I hover my cursor over the list, a wrapper is set behind the list. You can set it from here. You can have different wrapper on normal view and the hover view. Right now, it is set on hover view. Finally, we have the separator settings. You can enable or disable separator. You can even adjust the separator according to your preference. Now let's look at the customization option for an individual item. Click on the item that you want to customize. As you can see, there are different settings for normal view and hover view. That's just the color, background, border, the text, and your set. The customization options are endless. So you can have the best list for your product and your page. So let's have a look at them in the front end. That's it for this video. Thank you for watching. If you have any more questions or suggestions, feel free to drop them in the comment section below. Don't forget to like, subscribe and hit that bell icon so you don't miss out on upcoming content.